Hello everyone. This video is going to demonstrate how to set up an analog input for your X4 using a Firewire analog cable. The first thing you will need to do is make sure your device is up to date. We do cover that in another video. Also, you will need your X4 with OBD2 cable, your Firewire cable, and your analog device. In this example, we are going to be using an SCT EGT Pro. I'm going to show you the simple firewire to firewire cable which involves no splicing of wires. I am also going to show you how to splice the firewire cables together. As you can see, my X4 is on the main screen. First thing you need to do is go ahead and plug the device into your vehicle, turn your key on but do not need to start the vehicle, and go ahead and switch over to the gauges mode. If you haven't already, go ahead and select a configuration that most appropriately suits the vehicle that you're going to be data logging. In this case, I have an older than 07 vehicle, so I'm going to choose the Ford Gas 07 in prior years. Now that we're on the gauges and data logging screen, we can go ahead and choose one of these items to change for our analog input. I'm going to choose the top left corner here. I'm going to go ahead and just highlight it and click the center button to open up this menu. Here you can see the item right now is selected as battery voltage. We're going to go ahead and click the center button again, and scroll down all the way to the bottom until we find analog 7 red fire wire. Go ahead and click the center button again once you've located that. And now it will bring us back to this screen. We need to go ahead and set the equation because as it sits right now, it would just be reading this EGT sensor in raw voltage. Go ahead and scroll down once, click the center button again, and in this case we're going to go ahead and choose SCT EGT. You can see there's a number of other pre-configured devices in here uh, that you can choose from if you so happen to have that device for an analog. So now we've got both of those set up, we can go ahead and hit approve. And this is in no particular order. It does not matter if I hook up my wires first or I set up my PID first. Now that we have the top left corner set as analog 7, you can see it's reading a flat 32 degrees right now. We'll go ahead and take our fire wire, which in this case is just a simple analog to analog normal fire wire cable. It's not spliced. You can see this is a full solid cable. And we're simply going to go ahead and plug one end into our EGT probe and the other end is going to go into the top of the X4 unit where the firewire port is. Now you can see the signal there is already changing more to the temperature of the probe at the moment and if I apply a little heat we'll see that number increase quite rapidly. That is all you need to do to set up a normal firewire to firewire analog input for something like an EGT gauge or wideband or any other analog device. Some of you may have opted for a firewire cable that was already spliced on one end. In this example I'm using a firewire cable that I literally just cut in half and stripped all the wires back. So the wires on both ends of this cable will match as far as colors are concerned. You'll notice that there's red, white, black, blue, green, and orange. If you notice in the Analog 7 PID setup, we chose Analog 7 Red Firewire. That is exactly what we need to use here in this situation. If you've chosen to use a different firewire, your cable colors may vary, and you can use a multimeter to figure out which one is the signal cable versus ground and power. In this case, ground is black, white is your power, and red is a signal. This is going to act just the same as it did as a solid cable. We'll go ahead and plug this in. And plug the other end in to our EGTs. And again, go ahead and apply some heat, and we'll see that top left PID start to move. Congratulations, you have now set up an analog input using your SETX4 and a Firewire cable. 
Keep in mind that those aftermarket wires may not always match the same colors, so use a voltmeter or find a pinout related to the wires you're using to find the signal, the power, and the ground. Thanks for watching.